hello friends welcome to the InfiChat video series so here we will be discussing how we can do certain stuff with InfiChat so from lots of our customers lots of questions are coming how to set up particular things with InfiChat so today we are going to start this series with this first video where we will be discussing how you can use InfiChat without any external services like push -up. Uh, in our documentation, we have highlighted that uh, you need to update pusher configuration to use in PCAT. And what pusher actually does, it provides a real-time functionality, a very easy way to work with. So today we are going to use Laravel Echo Server to provide or to use real-time chat configuration. So for that, we need to do certain things which are actually not possible to document because lots of things are required to be done to use uh, in pchat with laravel echo server so laravel comes with very handy way of laravel echo implementation which is called laravel broadcasting so with broadcasting we are actually getting lots of configuration like you can use pusher or you can use Redis, uh, there is also an option Laravel compatible WebSocket, and that is also option for Socket.io. And to use Redis and Socket.io, we need to use Laravel Echo Server. So Laravel Echo Server needs basically two things: one is Redis, and one is Node.js. So basically, this particular application itself is one Node.js application, which will be providing real-time connection via socket.io with laravel echo broadcasting so let's get started so for that uh, first of all you need to have certain things installed in your machine so i have what i did i highlighted every step over here and we'll be going step by step for uh, each of the installation step but before that what we need is we need two things installed on our machine as I said, one is Redis. So, of course, it is a Redis server itself. And the another thing you probably need is Redis PHP extension. So, to do that, there are lots of articles and you can find these URLs in these tabs in the video description. Uh, and from this article, you can install Redis as well as uh, PHP Redis extension. And uh, I try to uh, did it for particular systems like if you are using Ubuntu then there is article for Ubuntu if you are using Mac then there is an step for Mac like you need to install first of all Redis server then you need to hit these two commands to install Redis and then you need to update your php.ini to uh, and uh, update it and add extension is equal to redis.s and for Windows there is article for that as well but this is for local uh, and Ubuntu can be these steps can be for server maybe this can be used for Windows Server as well but make sure that to use InfiChat with your internal Laravel Echo server you need to have your VPS server so if you are using cPanel then it will not be possible because on cPanel you have very limited access uh, to install something on your machine uh, I don't know maybe I can be wrong but I will prefer you you should have your own VPS server if you can do it in your cPanel via uh, SSH access then that is really good so let's get started so what I try to do I already have Redis server uh, running on my machine that I did over here so uh, Redis server is already there and I also installed PHP Redis extension on my machine uh, once you install Redis extension the way to verify it you uh, print your php info and you try to find redis into that so if you are able to see this kind of section then you can uh, verify that redis is perfectly installed on your machine so that is done now uh, let's get started to our steps so the first step is in our by default shipping of np chat we have pusher thing already installed so we have pusher sdk install in composer.json and we have pusher js installed as well so as the first step what we will try to do is we will remove our 
pusher things first of all so i will go here i will hit this command and i will hit enter let me fast forward the video to get it installed okay so we have uninstalled edits you will get this kind of error but that is fine because it will not able to do pusher since i have uh, my broadcast driver set up as a pusher the next thing that we'll be doing is we will be installing pdis so let me go here copy this command and paste it over here the same let's wait for pdis get installed okay we are done with sorry uh, we are getting some error because of pusher let's try to change our driver so i'll go here i will change our broadcast driver to redis as of now we'll go again and we will try to run the command again to install php sorry p redis so uh, what basically we are doing is instead of pusher we'll be using redis so redis provides a pub shop kind of uh, interface where publisher and subscribers can talk with each other via redis so let's wait till p redis gets installed we are done with installing p redis let's move to the next step and now what we'll be doing we'll be updating our config slash database dot php to change our redis client and comment out the prefix so i will go here i will scroll down to the redis i will change this to p redis since we are going to use p redis and i will going to command this prefix because what will happen redis will not be able to uh, publish and subscribe to this particular thing but make sure if you are using your redis server with multiple uh, laravel projects then you may get in trouble because uh, without prefix everyone will be writing on the same key so make sure uh, to do that if uh, you are using the same redis server for different laravel projects so we are done with our third steps now let's remove our pusher dependency from our js as well so i will go here i will run this command npm uninstall pusher js so and yeah one more thing uh, if you are going to use laravel echo server uh, you will need to build your uh, in feature project again since you are going to make some changes so it will not work with distribution.zip file uh, you will need to use uh, src.zip and you will need to do these all steps into that and before doing these all steps make sure that your application is well set up as per the documentation uh, via this section uh, for technical users so you have follow these all steps and I will say like you use uh, this particular src.zip file okay now let's move to our next step where we are going to install socket.io client so I'll go here I will write npm install dash dash save socket.io client so now instead of pusher javascript library we will be using socket.io so we are almost done with all of our changes related to dependencies now the very next step is we need to update our laravel echo configuration so i will go to the resources assets js and app.js and then what i will try to do i will try to remove this all pusher related thing and i will copy this and i will paste it over there but few more thing that i think that will be needed is uh, you will need to add uh, uh, auth endpoint and i think this thing needs to be there let me copy it over here and we need to add uh, auth endpoint endpoint as well so i will go here i will do this even i will update this file so we are planning to push this file with the uh, next version as well where we are highlighting every steps so anyone can do this if they are interested without watching this video directly from the steps okay good 
So what we did, we updated the Laravel echo configuration to use socket.io instead of pusher. Yeah. So now uh, what we will be doing is we will be going env. I will remove my all pusher configuration. So I just removed it. And now as a next step, we are going to make a new build. So this is what all the changes you need in the code to make InfiChat work with Laravel Echo Cell. Now I will go and I will run npm run dev. Uh, so I will go here, I will run npm run dev. If you want to build an app for the production version, then you will need to run npm run prod. So all your files like JS and CSS, they will be minified and they will be amplified. Oops, it seems like we got some bug. Uh, let's check one second. Oops, we got it two times. Let's remove it. Sorry. And let's try to rerun npm run dev. Let's wait for a minute. We compiled successfully. And the next step we are going to do is on Echo Server. So for Echo Server, first of all, we need to install Laravel Echo Server globally. So I will go here. I will copy this command. I will run this command. So if you are getting some permission error, something like that with this, then you should add probably sudo or something like that. But hopefully you should not get this error since I'm not getting anything. And let's wait it to be installed. So yes, Laravel Echo Server is installed, but we installed it globally. So right now we can use Laravel Echo Server command anywhere we want. So the very next step is like we need to start ready server that we already have started. If you haven't started, now we need to update our ENV to Redis. I think we already did that. Let's verify it. Yes, broadcast driver is Redis. Uh, and the very next step is we need to configure our Laravel Echo Server. So what it will do, it will basically create one file over here, uh, which will be the configuration file for Laravel Echo Server, like where it should be connected, what are the host, what are the port and something like that. So let's clear it out and run this command. So what it will do, it will ask some questions like, do we want to run this server into development mode? I will say no. Uh, which port I will like to use so from 6001 so I will try to keep it the same because in our app.js I put 6001 so hit enter as a default uh, we want to use redis or sqlite I will say we want to use redis uh, it is asking for our laravel authentication server host this will be basically the same url that we are using so in my case I want to use test since it is my local so I will go here in my env I will copy it from here and I will paste it so I'll be using this one uh, if you are using HTTPS then you should select like HTTPS otherwise just select HTTP then uh, do you want to generate client ID or something I will say no cross domain access I will say no since I do not want it and at the last it is asking for our JSON file name I will hit enter so if you go here that it has created one laravel echo server.json over here and there is a configuration set in that that we have seen it will contain all the configuration that we have just set so our host our database which is redis our port our protocol and all the things right so let's move to our next step and that is laravel echo server start which is like said over here as well like configuration file is saved run laravel echo server start to run the server so i will go here i will just paste here and say laravel echo server start so what it will do it will listen for the redis event remember you can customize your redis host and bunch of things over here there is configuration available for that if you are using redis with some different ports and something like that but right now we are using all the default values so everything is same so now let's try to test our app what it is if it is running or not so i have two window open one is chrome so i will try to to refresh 
in the Chrome and one is Firefox so I will try to refresh that as well so Firefox and this is a brand new chat application let's hope for the best and let's try it out so I will try to arrange it like uh, side by side let me go here okay uh, let's see new conversation it looks like Vishal is already online so it looks like it is working if I go here I see super admin as online okay I will select super admin here I will select Vishal over here let's try to type something over here and see if it is giving us a typing status so I will say hello super admin and I can say that it is typing and yeah it is working and if I type something over here like hello we shall okay it's working so this is how you can you know like uh, replace the pusher with the Laravel echo server to verify that I will say inspect element over here and uh, I will try to hit refresh and uh, if you go into if you see like this WS tab small right one over here and if you see here now the connection is going socket connection is made 6001 we are not using pusher anymore same for Firefox as well you can test it so this is how you can integrate Laravel Echo server with InfoChat hope this will help everyone Thank you and if you have any question or anything like that if you are getting any problem you can always comment out under the video or you can always contact our support email thank you